Yeah, unbelievable, Stephen and Carolyn, but thankfully she is safe. We just finished talking to investigators just about five, ten minutes ago, and like you said, for the second night in a row, Good Samaritans, they find a young child wandering on the streets. They do the right thing. They scoop up that child and bring them to a police station. Take a look at this photo. This girl is 15 years old. She's at the police station right now. Her father came here around 10 o'clock. I'm told she was found wandering on the streets around 7.30 tonight near Spinoza and Outer Drive on the city's west side. That's when those Good Samaritans found her, scooped her up, and brought her out here. The thing is, we're told she has severe autism, can barely communicate, and she was with relatives at a grocery store and jumped out of the car and ran away. Thankfully, those Good Samaritans were there. Of course, that comes on the heels of what happened yesterday when a three-year-old was found wandering on the streets on the east side near East State Fair in Hoover. Another Good Samaritan over there saw something was wrong. He picked her up scooped her up and brought her to the police station over there. We had the chance to talk to Captain Mark Thornton tonight, like I said, just about five minutes ago, and here's what he had to say about all of these Good Samaritans. It always crosses our mind, especially when you're talking about a young lady. There are predators out there. Obviously, we're doing the best that we can to get them off the street. But again, in this case, the citizens that observed this young lady and were able to bring her in did a marvelous and wonderful thing. Thank you very much. And he was telling us there's, this has been at least the sixth child that has either been left in a house by themselves or found wandering on the streets during the past week. But once again, these good Samaritans did the right thing. I'm told CPS as a precaution has been called in to come over here. Right now, the father is inside. The 15-year-old girl is inside also. They're being talked to, but she'll be released back to her father. But thankfully, with a girl wandering the streets who can barely communicate with autism, I'm glad those folks did the right thing. Let's send it back to you guys in the studio. And so